Yo, what is up guys? I am Alpha 800 and in today's video, I'm going to be doing another before you buy video. It's been a while, but I am bringing the series back because a lot of people love it and uh <laughs> well, I, I like doing them even though it, it costs me money a lot. <laughs> but it, I I do it for fun and I have extra money to spend. So also, if I sound a little sick, it's because I am sick. I uh, tested positive for COVID, so I'm just here doing videos in my room. <laughs> but anyways, to the video, we have four new uh, cosmetics to show off. Uh, they're all, they are all part of the Fire Moon Festival uh, set. The first one we have is for Oni. And we have one for, uh, is this, this is Zarina. We have uh, Yun Jin, and then we have the Trickster. Now we're gonna look at Oni's first. And I'm gonna cut the audio down a little bit because uh, that's a little loud. Let's put it down there. All right, so <clears throat> this outfit is called Fire Moon Warrior. It's cost, it costs 1080 orc sales. You cannot buy it with shards. Cannot buy this with shards. And uh, it says he's he cleansed his blades in a sacred pond touched by the rays of the fi full fire moon. Uh, the headpiece is called Crescent Helmet. Intricate metal work to craft a crescent shaped helmet in honor of the moon. Pretty cool. Oh, that is pretty cool. Actually, I like that. All right. The uh, body is called Lunar Armor. Blessed armor protecting him from foes and spirits haunting warriors during the full moon. And we have the weapons called uh, Celestial. Or Celestial. Uh, Kanabu. Kanabu? Or uh, Kanabo. Uh... Ornamented Kanabo cleanse with moon water to keep it from rust. I mean, I like this outfit. But we're going to see how it looks in game and with the Mori. So uh, I'll go ahead and buy it. All right, next we have Zarina for the survi survivor. I should have done tricksters to stay with the killers, but you know. <laughs> um. Zarina's outfit is called Fire Moon Concert Goer. And it's available with shards and orc sales. 1080 orc sales and 21,600 shards. Um, she dressed up to attend the epic Fire Moon Festival concert. As the moon rose, the, mu the music blared, uh, elevating her worries. Elevating. Excuse me. Uh... The headpiece is called Ombre Half Up. I've probably been pronouncing all these wor all these uh, words wrong. <laughs> uh, she bedazzled her dark, voluminous hair into a fist half up braided hairstyle. Ooh, I like her hair actually. Ooh, okay, Zarina. I'm glad this is not a set. I think this hair will go with like a lot of things, maybe. Um, the torso is called Crescent Shirt, a violet shirt. With silvery patterns of the moon. All right, and did the legs are called mini shorts, high waisted shorts, accessor excuse me, high waisted shorts accessorized with thigh silver chains, tall um, suede boots complete her iconic look. You know what? English is not my main language. <laughs> I I, can't, I've, I have come to realize that, um, but yeah, this is Zarina's cosmetic, the, uh, 1080 orc cells. Go ahead and get it. Next up, oh, excuse me. Next we have a Yun Jin. Uh, her outfit is called Fire Moon Mourner. Uh, this outfit is available for 1080 orc cells or 21,600 shards. Uh, Yun Jin dressed up to pay her respects during the full Fire Moon concert, one of the last events where no spin performed as a group. Oh, 
that's cool. I mean, sad, but it's cool. <laughs> okay. The headpiece is called High Bun and Side Bang, a sophisticated, uh, sophistic oh my gosh, sorry, a sophisticated high bun for a somber occasion. I love this hair. I don't know if it's like the, the color of it or just like the, the bun. I like it. Better than these heads. <laughs> um, the torso is called Lunar uh, Hanbok, a modern version of the Hanbok made of silk embroidered with lunar patterns to honor the occasion. All right. This should have been a, I think this should have been a set because look at this. What is this going to match with? I guess we'll see. Uh, red, red heels, a beautiful pair of low red heels to contrast with her navy blue tights. All right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and buy this. And then the last one we have is the Trickster. I know a lot of people is loving this cosmetic, so. Uh, and they'll be happy you can buy it with shards, so. you can. It's called Fire Moon Performer. You can buy it with 1080 orc cells or 21,600 iridescent shards. Uh, he climbed on stage at the Full Moon Concert, uh, excuse me, Full Moon Festival and delivered an unforgettable live performance. Uh, the headpiece is called Moon Dust Makeup, a vivid hair color to contrast with his sombre makeup. Interesting. Uh, the body is called Celestial Handbach, a contemporary trendy take on the traditional garment for the trickster's epic live performance. And the weapon is called Crescent Bat. He customized his bat to perform impressive stunts in front of the full Fire Moon Festival audience. Hmm. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and buy this. All right. So that's all the cosmetics uh, in the store for the new uh, Fire Moon Festival collection. Um, I'm going to test all of them out, showcase them all in game. I'm going to try something, excuse me, I'm going to try something different. Um, so I've been asking people to, uh, come to my, uh, discord or contact me to be a test dummy for my videos for Dead by Daylight. So I can do kill your friends or customize a uh, custom game, custom, custom game. And uh, it'll be a little quicker to uh, get into a game. Plus, you know, I have more ease and stuff there. So, so if you if you guys are wanting to help test me out, uh, test out cosmetics and stuff, help me test out. Uh, please let me know in the in the comments below. Also, join my Discord. Link is in the description. And also, um, I stream on Twitch. So make sure. If you want to to follow me on Twitch, I have more info about that later at the end of the video. So let's get into the game and showcase these cosmetics. See ya. Ah! <laughs> 
all right guys there you guys have it um sorry about that tricks to more I, I was running out of time and i could have re recorded it but <laughs> i i didn't um but at least you saw trickster you didn't you didn't see uh yun jin in there you could but <laughs> anyways uh here's oni's cosmetic um i really like it it's uh very simple i like the i like the mask i was trying to get the mori to where he's like doing his power his ult his power where he's like glowing red but apparently you can't glow red while doing a mori so i tried to do that but it didn't work but uh yeah i do like this cosmetic and uh if you're only made i would definitely uh get this if you have the extra orc sales to give or, or extra money to give um but yeah i'll give this outfit a eight out of ten i do i do like it i do like it I, if i was whenever i play oni i'll probably wear this outfit um all right next we have trickster And uh, I do, uh, this outfit is going to grow on me, but I do like it. Um, not as much as I did when I saw it in the uh, leaks, but I do like it. It's, it's different. And it was like an unexpected, for me, this was an unexpected cosmetic. So... Mm. Um, I do love the bat because of the freaking crescent moon it has on there, and uh, and I just like the unique the uniqueness of this outfit. I'm gonna give this outfit a hmm, let's see, probably an 8.5 out of 10. This is an outfit I would definitely be wearing on Trickster. Um, it's definitely gonna grow on me. I, I can already feel it. It's gonna grow on me. Heck, I might even give it a 10. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, I stick with an 8.5. Um, next, we have Zarina. Now, this cosmetic, I do love the head. The headpiece on this cosmetic, I do love. Everything else is just alright. I mean, nothing stands out, really. But the, I do love the headpiece. Um... So I'm gonna give this cosmetic like a six out of ten, only because of the headpiece. If it, if it, if if I didn't like the headpiece, this outfit would be like two out of ten. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, and the last survivor we have is Zian Jin. Uh, her cosmetic I do like. Um, for the most part, it's the head again. I love the headpiece. Um, and I do love like the little skirt uh, part of the outfit so like okay let's see what, what if we did this uh nah that doesn't really match what do y'all think about that <laughs> ooh what about this no that doesn't match either That's not that many you can uh, mix and mix and match with, but uh, I give this outfit a seven out of ten. I do love the headpiece and the skirt, but you know, the torso area I really don't my I really don't like. Um, but uh, yo, guys, tell me in the comments what outfits uh, you actually like, um, and tell me if you end up getting one of them and uh yeah like i said earlier thank you for watching the video also if you enjoyed it please make sure to subscribe if you um want to see more videos in the future also hit that like button 
helps out the channel a lot. Also, I stream on Twitch. Uh, it's the same name as my YouTube. Um, I also use a face cam there, so if you want to see my ugly face, <laughs> you can follow me on Twitch. We're almost to 400 followers, so I would love if some of y'all came from YouTube and gave me those and uh, gave me that 400 follower. Tell me if you're the 400 follow, by the way, and I and I might give you a little surprise. <laughs> but I uh, yo yo, thank you guys for watching and um. I hope you guys enjoyed this before you buy video and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe in the fog and peace.